Hey guys, Kigger here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Real VNC, and that's a uh, real virtual network connection. It provides a remote control software which lets you interact and with uh, desktop applications across any network. So you're going to need two computers, one to be, you know, obviously uh, connecting to and running the server, and another to be viewing it. Um, so, you know, this is way, way, way uh, much better alternative than, you know, remote desktop or anything like that. So. It's really ideal, especially for servers. If you don't, if you have a computer that doesn't have a monitor, you connect to it through VNC. You can maybe plug in a monitor for the, you know, your current monitor for the time being, install VNC, run it, take off the monitor, and you can just connect to it virtually. So head over to realvnc.com and just over, head over here to VNC downloads, and install the free edition. It's the uh, only one, obviously, that's free. It doesn't have all the features, but it gets the job done. I believe there is no client for OS 10 though. So hit download and use, and then after you you know download all of that, you're gonna want to configure the settings. Now another thing you're also gonna want to do is port forward. If you don't know what to port forward, it's pretty simple, uh, especially if you're in a Linksys router. Uh, just head over to your router page, which should be under your uh, router. The it'll give you an IP address for Linksys. It's a 192.168.1. I wait, hang on, let me check here. 192.168.1.1, and um. After that, or you can head over to portforward.com, I believe. It'll exp if you just find your router on there, it'll show you how to port forward. Okay, so after you port forward, the port 5900, just name your uh, thing VNC, and then make make the starting port 5900 to 5900, and put your IP address in and enable it, and um, then you can configure your settings for the server. So head over to VNC's user mode, user mode, hit configure. Uh, server settings and then you're gonna want to make sure you set a password which is safer and much more secure you can even do prompt user to accept the connection um, and then like I said here's the port that you're gonna want to port forward 5900 on your uh, um, what do you call it on your router now you can even accept only connections from local machine you can add like an IP address or something like that see examples are right there you can only allow those you can deny certain IPs that way it makes it more secure if you want to do that again this isn't this is just I download the server for uh, what do you call that tutorial purposes and, and also if you have a laptop you can install the viewer on there and you can access your desktop when you're on the go so you can accept keyboard events meaning they can use a keyboard you can disable local inputs while servers in use so they can't do anything while the servers in use if you want to show a friend a desktop or something like that and yeah, so you just go through all the settings and make sure you port forward. And then you're going to want to install the viewer. And just head over to their site again and just search in the top right corner, VNC viewer. Install 4.1 for Windows. And after you port forward, after you set up the server and you have it running, you're going to want to get the IP address of the other computer. If the server is running, it'll have a little icon. You hover over it and it'll tell you the IP address. After you get that, head over to the viewer. And um, I'm going to pause the video right here while I put my IP address and password in. Okay, so I entered everything and we're here. So I'm connected and um, you can see the server is in use by that black icon in the, the black VNC icon in the bottom corner there. And I'm connected so I can do anything on this computer and I can be in the So See there and this is actually my sister's former computer and recycle bin, stuff like that. And there you go. There you have it. That's how you set up VNC. It's simple as that, guys. Um, if you have problems, again, port forwarding, go to portforward.com. And if you have any other issues, just go ahead and search uh, VNC on Google. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to check out the site at adrianstech.com. Any questions, concerns, send them over to adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.